Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and while some folks may call that healing regenerating renewing system a miracle it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to be your go-to resource for all things nutrition, all things health. If you have questions about the longevity products, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. Our phone number, 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can squeeze in as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you have here advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can purchase longevity products and sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks for helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you're an entrepreneur, this is an ideal business model. Please check it out at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. 2470. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Serum, and Truth Transdermal C Balm. We've got free shipping in July. Uh, I guess for another eight day, or another seven or eight days, we've got free shipping. Actually, what is today? Oh my goodness, for another six days. We've got free shipping at truthtreatments.com on all our truth treatment products. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, if you just want an overall anti-aging product, you really need to check out our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, thickeners, water, silicon, oil, surfactants, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. And they're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. We've been spending lots of time talking about the, quote, cholesterol causes heart disease, unquote, scam. I think it's a scam. It enriches drug companies. It misleads doctors, misleads patients into thinking that lowering cholesterol levels, taking statin drugs, throwing out your egg yolks is somehow going to protect your heart. Not true. Scam from the word go. I think it's a scam because it enriches drug companies. At, at best, it's misleading. It's misleading because it direct, redirects our attention from where it should be. The big problem with this anti-cholesterol nonsense is not only that it promotes just idiotic pharmacological interventions in the name of health, taking drugs to get better, taking drugs to make us healthy, which is idiotic on its face, but even worse, this whole anti-cholesterol nonsense distracts us from the real problem and the real cause of heart disease, which involves blood sugar levels, insulin levels, body fat, the digestive system, the connective tissue. This is another major aspect when it comes to heart disease. Do you know heart disease is arthritis of the heart? 
Heart disease is arthritis of the circulatory system. It's the same disease. It's the same breakdown. As we've said so many times in this program, cholesterol levels rise when blood sugar rises, when insulin rises, and this is why it looks like it's the high cholesterol that's causing the heart disease. The high cholesterol is caused by the same problem that causes the heart disease, which is messed up blood sugar, dysglycemia. And don't be put off by that word, dysglycemia, means messed up blood sugar. And it's not diabetes. I hear, uh, I hear so many times I hear people say, well, I don't have diabetes. My doctor said my blood sugar is fine. No, you don't have to have diabetes to have messed up blood sugar. Dysglycemia is different from the diagnosis called diabetes. Your diagnosis, it doesn't matter. The name of your health challenge is irrelevant. It's the underlying biochemistry that matters. This is why the medical model doesn't work, because we treat words. We treat diagnosis. We don't treat underlying biochemical breakdowns. We treat names. We treat diabetes, but we don't treat dysglycemia. Dysglycemia is messed up blood sugar, and there's only two reasons why blood sugar gets messed up. There's only two. The food we eat and stress, cortisol. Cortisol will raise your blood sugar and food raises your blood sugar, ultimately causing insulin resistance, elevated insulin, and therein lies the true problem with heart disease, the number one killer in this country and around the world. And then you have the whole digestive health issue, leaky gut, dysbiosis, dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria. Two words to remember if you want to be healthy, dysbiosis, dysglycemia. DYS for messed up, biosis, bacteria, glycemia, blood sugar. Just remember those two words and work on those two. Take, uh, take the approach of dealing with these two problems, these two underlying problems, and you'll be healthy. Dysbiosis and dysglycemia. You don't need any drugs. You don't need any doctors. You don't need any medical intervention. You don't need any di uh, devices or, or, or uh, stents or, or pacemakers or balloons. All the stuff they stick into your body. Lower your blood sugar. Lower your insulin. And work on your digestive system. Leaky gut, dysbiosis, elevated insulin levels, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome. These are the true causes, not just of heart disease, of all disease. All of this leads to inflammation, and inflammation as, is at the root of all health challenges. And any medical professional who does not understand this, any medical professional who thinks that it's about a statin drug to protect your heart, and not about inflammation, and not about elevated sugar, and not about uh, insulin resistance, and not about dysbiosis, should be regarded with great skepticism. Any medical professional that thinks it's about being put on a statin drug to protect your heart should, is best avoided, in my humble opinion. Now, if you really want to lower your cholesterol and you, don't want, to, you want to do it without drugs, here's how you do it. Drop your sugar. Insulin, the hormone that is elevated in dysglycemia and blood sugar, elevated blood sugar, are the main drivers of excess cholesterol production. And this is why focusing on your blood sugar is so important. All of this leads to an inflammatory process that runs amok, and that word inflammation is the key to understand if you're going to be healthy. Inflammation. Dolor, color, rubor, and tumor. Dolor for pain, color for heat, rubor for redness, tumor for swelling, inflammation. But here's where it gets tricky. Here's where it gets tricky. You see, when we think about inflammation, we think about the swelling that happens when you get a black eye or when you sprain your ankle. But the inflammation that is, be, that is behind the disease process is not that kind of inflammation. It's micro-inflammation. It's inflammation that occurs at the microscopic levels. And this is why it's so deceiving and so poorly understood. It doesn't look like we have inflammation when we have heart disease because there's no swelling anywhere. Because it's microscopic inflammation. It's the microscopic version of a black eye. Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844 
866-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment, as we always do on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you're dealing with heart disease or any health challenge, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, or even better, if you want to be a Longevity distributor and join the Brightside Ben team, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can sign up directly off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. we got blog stores. Uh, blog posts and news stories as well as videos on all our websites brightsideben.com criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com all right so we got a big time big time health problem in this country and around the world chronic degenerative diseases or an epidemic some 80 to 120 million americans are dealing with chronic degenerative diseases many of them are dealing with multiple chronic degenerative diseases diseases that cannot be cured according to the medical model but here's the deal all health challenges have the same basic bottom line root causes all of them whether we're talking Alzheimer's disease or arthritis or heart disease or cancer, whatever, they have the same basic underlying root causes, all of them. The cause of heart disease is not too much cholesterol. The cause of heart disease is not, uh, heart disease is not something that you can treat with a statin drug. The cause of heart disease is the same as the cause of any disease. It's excessive and out of balance inflammation. And, and as we said many times, inflammation is not the problem. It's the excessive and out of balance inflammation. And the reason this is so important is because there's nothing your doctor can do about it, but we can take care of it ourselves. Understanding the basic root causes of the disease process liberates us from medical tyranny, liberates us from the medical model, liberates us from Obamacare and Affordable Care Acts and primary care and diagnostics and drugs and all the different ways we medicalize ourselves without getting better. Your diagnosis is irrelevant. It's a word that means nothing. Arthritis is Alzheimer's disease of the joints. Alzheimer's is arthritis of the brain. Multiple sclerosis is Parkinson's disease of the nerves. Parkinson's is multiple sclerosis of the brain. They're all the same thing. They're just taking place in different parts of the body. There are no special diseases. The only people who, who's in whose interest it is to have a special disease is a specialist who makes money off of it and doesn't ever help anybody. When we nail this thing down, when we finally understand this, there's going to be a lot of specialists delivering pizzas and doing drywall and cleaning toilets and doing productive work instead of taking our money for nothing. All degeneration involves the same mechanisms of inflammation. It is microscopic, and this makes it a little tricky, but it's the same thing. It's just occurring at the level of a cell. Macroinflammation is obvious. Microinflammation is invisible until it becomes a disease. Microinflammation, inflammation that occurs at the level of the cell, inflammation that is behind all, A-L-L, -L, all chronic degenerative disease, or as they call it, non-communicable disease, diseases that are not infectious, diseases where the body just breaks down. It's all about microscopic inflammation. That is starvation, suffocation, and toxification of the cell. Starvation, suffocation, toxification leads to inflammation, leads to more starvation, suffocation, and toxification. Starvation, meaning nutritional deficiencies. Suffocation, meaning a lack of oxygen. Toxification, meaning the buildup of poisons, including drugs. How ironic. Drugs toxify the body and lead to inflammation. This doesn't show up on your side effect profile or on the adverse reaction profile, but it does show up as a, 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 a early demise. The 
reason the boneheaded medical model doesn't tell us this is because there are no drugs and there are no medical procedures that can address starvation, suffocation, intoxication, and inflammation. There's no surgeries. There's no medical protocols. There's nothing a doctor can do about cellular starvation, cellular suffocation, and cellular toxification. Nothing a doctor can do. Doesn't matter. We can do it ourselves. It's this classic misdirection. We're led to believe we shouldn't pay attention to the obvious fact that doctors can't make us healthy. But we can change your cholesterol scores. We can't help your heart, but we can lower your cholesterol. We can't help your bones, but we can raise your bone mineral density. We can't help you in any way, but we can change your test scores. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz couldn't give the cowardly lion courage, but he could give him a medal. He couldn't give the, the scarecrow a brain, but he could give him a diploma. He couldn't give the, the tin man a heart, but he could give him an honorarium. We treat words. We treat diagnostics. We treat numbers. We change test scores, but nobody gets better. So this microscopic inflammation, starvation, suffocation, and toxification leading to inflammation, this is the real cause of all disease. A 2002 Harvard study found that women with the highest levels of CRP, CRP, C-reactive protein, is an inflammatory marker. A 2002 Harvard University study found that women with the highest levels of CRP, the inflammatory marker, CRP, were nearly 2.5 times more likely to experience a heart attack and a stroke than those with lower levels of CRP. As a predictor risk, this was 40% more effective than LDL cholesterol. Another marker is the molecule we've talked about in the past, homocysteine. Homocysteine is another inflammatory marker. Homocysteine goes up when your B vitamins are short, uh, when you're deficient in B vitamins. B vitamins are water soluble. We urinate them out. If you're not replacing your B vitamins multiple times a day, the odds are very good that you're going to become deficient, especially first thing in the morning. Where do you get B vitamins? Beyond tangy tangerine. It's like a B vitamin drink. This is the reason why people notice such great results with Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's your water-soluble nutrients that most of us are deficient in, not just the B vitamins, but also the electrolytes, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. These water-soluble nutrients, especially the B vitamins, are easy to become deficient in. If you're deficient in the B vitamins, your homocysteine will go up. So as far as heart disease goes, microinflammation. This is the real cause and all, really all diseases, but especially heart disease. It's not the cholesterol that causes the heart disease, period. You know, half, nearly half of all heart attacks occur in patients who have normal cholesterol levels. So you can lower your cholesterol score all you want, but if you are dealing with this microinflammatory phenomena, cholesterol lowering or not, you're still not going to be healthy, even if you poison your cholesterol production system in the liver and lower your cholesterol scores. Now, how do you think the statin drugs work? They kill, they poison, they toxify the cells that make cholesterol. Who in God's name thinks that is a good thing? To poison the cells that make cholesterol. This is craziness. Never mind that cholesterol is an absolutely vital compound for making cells, for protecting your muscles, for movement, for nerves. All right, my pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll take a commercial break and come back on the bright side right after this. Sign. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you, and we'll get your calls here in just a moment. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about statin drugs or if you want to wean yourself off your statin drugs or any meds, you can get on a good nutritional supplement program. We can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our True Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with dark spots, melasma, hyperpigmentation, retinol is your go-to skin lightening ingredient. There's really not a lot of ingredients you can use topically to lighten the skin. Hydroquinone is the 
gold standard in prescription skin lightening, but it's really nasty, really toxic. I used to have to make, uh, in my pharmacy, in my compounding pharmacy, I used to have to make high concentrations of hydroquinone solutions for lightening the skin. I used to wear a mask and have to do it under a hood because the stuff was so toxic. Salicylic acid, which is similar to hydroquinone, that has some skin lightening properties, but nothing is more important than retinol. Retinol is a vitamin and it will lighten the skin just as well as any other, as any prescription drug. And you'll get anti-aging benefits, anti-acne benefits, skin conditioning benefits from retinol as well. You do need high concentrations and that's why I created my truth. Retinol 5% gel, also made with 25% premium lipophilic stable, very powerful and effective vitamin C. You're never going to see that anywhere, folks. And of course, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, surfactants, emulsifiers, thickeners, or uh, perfumes in our True Skin Health products. You can check them out at truthtreatments.com, Truth Transdermal C, Balm, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel, all at truthtreatments.com. Okay, from the University of Sterling, not all muscle building supplements are equal. This was a study that was published in the journal uh, Frontiers in Physiology. They showed that while something called BCAA supplements stimulate muscle building response in individuals after they lift weights, there may be other nutritional supplements that are just as important as the BCAAs, and those include what are called essential amino acids. So the BCAAs, your branch chain amino acids, those are super important for building muscle, but you need everything. You need all your amino acids, even the non BCAA amino acids, specifically something called arginine, another one called glutamine. We've talked about glutamine as being a part of glutathione. Glutamine and arginine are two incredibly important amino acids that are, uh, that are vital to the muscle building process. And you don't have to be a weightlifter to want to build muscle. Muscle building is one of the most important strategies for folks who are dealing with cardiovascular disease, with heart health disease, because much of heart health depends on muscle tissue. That's why creatine, which is uh, everybody knows, or a lot of people know, that creatine is an important muscle building supplement. It's also important for cardiovascular health. If you're dealing with heart disease, you want to prevent heart disease, more important than using a statin drug is making sure you're getting enough protein, especially muscle building protein, like the branched chain amino acids, which you'll find in whey and the longevity, keto, uh, uh, longevity slender FX, as well as keto FX proteins. Whey protein being a great source of the branched chain amino acids. By the way, the branched chain amino acids are also very helpful as weight loss aids in addition to being important for muscle building. And then you also want to make sure you're getting enough arginine, a conditionally essential amino acid, not only important for muscle building, but also helps secrete growth hormone, so it has anti-aging effects, anti-aging properties, and also very important for helping the body process sugar. You can find, uh, you can get arginine powder pretty easily at any health food store. It tastes awful, 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 awful. So if you're going to put it in a smoothie, which is what I do with my arginine, make sure you cover up that, cover up the taste or don't use a whole bunch. I use about half a teaspoon of arginine in my smoothie every day, but I've also got uh, all kinds of other amino acids, and uh, I use my bone broth protein, and sometimes my keto FX and slender FX with my arginine. Glutamine is also very, very important. Glutamine powder doesn't have any taste. It's really inexpensive, and you get all kinds of all kinds of accessory benefits in addition to being important for muscle building. Glutamine is, of course, a raw material for the production of glutathione, which we will continue talking about on our next Bright Side episode. All right, one more here and then we'll get your calls. This is from the journal Cell Host and Microbe. Diabetes causes, causes a shift in the oral microbiome that fosters gum disease. According to the study, this is from the University of Pennsylvania. Researchers found that bacteria that live in the mouth are affected by diabetes causing a shift into toxic bacteria. Yeah, there's like millions of species. There's probably a million different species of bacteria and only about 1,400 of them are toxic. The vast majority of germs or bacteria are non-toxic and they live, lots of them live in our bodies. They live in our, we talk about the ones that live in our intestine all the time, but they also live in our mouth. They're also in our respiratory tract. They're in our nasal passages. You even have bacteria, good bacteria, friendly bacteria in your eyes. They're all over the body. 
Some of them, very few of them actually, are toxic. And diabetes causes a shift in, uh, in uh, bacteria from toxic back to, from a healthy bacteria, good bacteria, to toxic bacteria in the mouth. And this highlights the relationship between the second point of the triangle of disease and the first point on the triangle of disease. This is how diabetes and intestinal health or the health of the microbiome are connected. Blood sugar changes will change bacteria. Blood sugar changes will shift bacteria, whether it's in the mouth or it's in the respiratory tract or it's in the digestive tract, from good bacteria into bad bacteria, and it works the other way around. Bacterial changes can cause blood sugar changes. This is that bottom point on the triangle of disease, the relationship between the digestive system and the blood sugar system, and vice versa, between the blood sugar system and the digestive system via the microbiome. All right. And what all this means, by the way, is if you have diabetes or you're concerned about diabetes or you want to prevent diabetes or you have pre-diabetes, get yourself on the nightly essence. Use fermented foods. Focus on intestinal health. Eat more fiber. Eat, uh, drink more veggie juices. Eat more vegetables. Use your ultimate enzymes. These are the strategies. These are true strategies that will help you stabilize your blood sugar, prevent diabetes, and prevent the secondary illnesses, has secondary health challenges that follow diabetes. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Texas and welcome Don to the bright side. Good morning, Don. Uh, good morning, Ben. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. What's I'm a, going on? I'm a, I'm a 65-year-old male, okay. and I've had hep C for 30 years. Um, okay. I've been, I've been very careful about it. I take uh, NAC, I take selenium, I take uh, alpha lipoic. Uh, are you I've asymptomatic? Would you? Would you? I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry. Are you asymptomatic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have any symptoms except I have swelling feet sometimes. Okay. You know they swell up, uh, and I've been taking uh, serapeptase, which seems to help that. I take that at okay. in the morning. Um, the swelling so that, feet are telling helps. me the the swelling feet is a sign. It's not a you know it's obviously not life threatening to have swelling feet, but it's a sign you're not circulating. Your blood's not circulating correctly. Right. It's a sign of sluggishness of the blood. Now this can involve the liver. If the liver is congested, that can do it. Um, and I don't know. You say you're asymptomatic, but it seems like you would have other symptoms if you really indeed had congested congested or fatty liver. Uh, you would have other symptoms. Any skin problems? I do. Uh, yeah, okay. I have. All right. I have pe peeling on uh, on my feet, and you know. I'll okay. All right. How's your height to weight, Don? Uh, I'm six three, and I weigh one seventy. Okay. Have you always been lean? Yes. Are you working out? Yeah, and I and I work out regularly with weights. So. Okay. I'm guessing you got a circulation problem, and it could ha it could absolutely have to do with the liver. You got to start treating yourself like a diabetic. Hey, got to take a break. Can you hang on, Don? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hang on. Okay. I'm pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We will return on the bright side right after this. Pharmacist Ben here, and we do have lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. I am Pharmacist Ben, and you're listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on our archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You can purchase your longevity products off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com as well. We're talking to Don in Texas. Are you there, Don? I am. Okay, so I'd be looking at uh, blood sugar would be the first thing that I would think about. Um, and that is because it sounds like you've got some clogging and some circulatory issues after you have, a, if you have a liver problem, if you have hepatitis, an inflamed liver, that makes sense uh, because the liver, uh, blood is, is going through the liver. When the liver becomes congested, it's very easy for it to become, for the blood flow to become a little bit slow, if you will, and that can cause fluid to leak out at the extremities as you're describing your uh, swelling feet. It can also cause skin problems. I'd be thinking about, uh, about blood sugar first and foremost. That means use your sweeties, keep your carb intake as, as low as down, as little as possible, refined carbs, that is. Vegetable carbs are great, but uh, refined carbs, breads, pastas, cereals, those kinds of things. And then using uh, 
in addition to the sweeties, your ultimate selenium, the B complex, potassium, arginine. We talked about that earlier. These are all in the interest of keeping your blood sugar stable. More fiber, especially after you eat sweets or bready kinds of foods, fiber can help flush out tox uh, flush out sugars, minimizing their toxicity. You might also want to, uh, if you're not already doing aerobic exercises like running, improving circulation. I don't know if you're doing weight, what kind of exercises you're doing, but I, things that. I, I swim. I swim a mile three or four times a week. Okay, well, it, it, that's a lot. That's that's pretty good workout right there. Um, yeah. So it's kind of unusual with all the kicking you're doing that you'd be, have those that kind of swelling. That tells me there's, if you're swelling in the lower extremities and you're swimming twice a week, you may have some some issues there with your circulation because that should take care of it. Uh, deep yeah. breathing can help. Deep breathing might help if you're constipated or you have any kind of digestive issues. Those really need to be corrected. The fiber will help you there, and there is a relationship between uh, blood pooling in the extremities and constipation. Both have to do with sluggish blood. So if you find that that's a problem, connect your issues, your digestive issues, to specific foods. Then eliminate those foods. Make sure you're you're doing fiber every day. I like. You've probably heard me talk about my flax beverage, flax and chia beverage. That's a great yeah. way to have, to improve your blood sugar as well as improve your bowel movements and, and intestinal health. Don't forget your probiotics, your, your nightly essence, excuse me, as well as fermented foods and vegetable juices. Focus. Long story short, I'd be focusing on blood sugar and I'd be focusing on digestive health. What, tell me a little bit about your skin issues, by the way. You said peeling. Um, it's, a, it, it's the lower legs. They peel. Okay. And, okay. um, you know, I, and I'm always working on athlete's foot or something like that. You know, it's kind of like... Uh, cal- That's not uh, quite a skin problem, but the peeling is a skin problem. Those are all indicative yeah. of, bl- of blood sugar issues, secondary okay. to, to circulation. That's where I'd be focusing. All right, Don? Are, are you from... Are you familiar with Harvoni uh, for... Yes, I think that's the a virus. biggest scam ever. You know, nobody really knows if you have... Nobody's ever really seen the hepatitis C virus. They assume it's a virus when you have hepatitis, and they find uh-huh. the antibodies, but nobody's ever really seen the virus, and there's a lot of controversy around it. What's not controversial is the fact that Harvoni is ridiculously expensive. And it's yeah. like, what is it, $100,000 a year? Something, like, absurd, the, the amount of money that they want you to spend on Harvoni. I would not be paying... To me, it's much ado about nothing, hepatitis C. It's more about the, it's more about the hepatitis than the C. Hep- the C is the supposed virus. The hepatitis right. is the inflamed liver. The inflamed liver is the problem. And given how most of us live our lives, whether we think we're healthy or not, we're still breathing the air, we're still drinking the water, you know, it makes sense that our, we would be dealing with inflamed livers. Hepatitis means inflamed liver. And that makes sense. And it seems much more likely to me that, considering the fact that nobody's ever seen the hepatitis C virus, it seems much more likely to me that hepatitis is more about an inflamed liver secondary to our lifestyle than, uh, than the C and then the, vi- the, the virus that's associated with that. Now, Harvoni does have anti-inflammatory properties, and that can help you, but there's other things you could do that are cheaper, that are uh, just as effective, if not more effective, that are non-toxic, that don't require medical intervention, that can help you with your liver, namely reducing your sugar intake, treating yourself like a, di- like a diabetic, changing the way you eat, you're already exercising, that's great, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, the relaxation nervous system. Oxygen is a major, uh, just deep breathing to get more oxygen is a major strategy for improving circulation. And again, it's lifestyle based and that's what you want to focus on first. I'm not a big believer in Harvoni to answer your question. Okay. All right, Don. Thanks so much. Take care, buddy. All right. Good luck. Okay. Let's go to my friend, the UG underwear guy. What's up? Where you been, John? Hey, good morning. I'm up in Wyoming, right above you. All right. Are you driving? Uh, no, I'm parked. Give out your website, Underwear Guy. I love it. Get, tell, tell the folks I think can get a hold of you. <laughs> what is your website? It's, it's, it's www.theunderwearguy.com. And why do you call yourself the Why do you call yourself the Underwear Guy? Tell your story real quick. Uh, you know, it's it's just a joke. I wish I wouldn't have called myself that, but I'm committed now. <laughs> All right. Um, well, why Why did you call yourself just, that? Well, because I work out in my underwear. I wear very colorful boxer shorts. I live, I literally live in a truck, as all truck drivers do. So I get up in the morning, curtains are closed. Uh, I have a bed. I have a small place to stand up. I'm in my boxer shorts. I start my workout, you know, start touching my toes, stretching, get my bed, doing my, I do, I have about an hour workout that I do every day. In your truck. And, uh, you do this in your truck, yeah, an hour workout. I do, 
I challenged myself for a year that I was going to lose weight, I was going to get in shape, I was going to do something that every truck driver was capable of doing. They have a truck, that's it. They're not going to get out and walk, they're not going to get out and jog, so I've got to develop something that can be done right inside their truck, and that's what I did. Um, I dropped 50 pounds in about six, eight months, uh, got the six-pack wrinkles, I call them, six-pack abs. Yeah, got nice, you got a six-pack nice. going. I got a six-pack going, and if you look at my uh, The Underwear Guy on Facebook, a picture of me, that's my front page, Yeah. Um, that's the way I'm built right now. Um, I have weights in my truck. I have about three dumbbells now. In the last six, eight months, I started adding weights to my protocol. And, uh, you know, I just tried to prove to people that you don't need a, a gym membership. You don't need a stair stepper. You don't need any of these things. They all help. They're all good. But if you live in a truck like most truck drivers do, you can get the results that you need to get right beside your truck in your underwear. And how old are you, underwear guy? I'm just getting ready to turn 66. Oh, happy birthday. And you got a six-pack, and you're 66 in a six-pack. That should be your new website, 66 in a six-pack. I know. I keep thinking of, of, of new ones because the underwear guy just keeps provoking these weird questions. Do 66 in uh, a six-pack. 66 in a six-pack. Six six uh, there you go. There you I go. like now that. I, now I just got to hold on to them. Uh, listen, I have a family member that's got something called Levator Syndrome. I just looked it up. Um, it's muscle spasms in the pelvis. Uh, they can't really sit like we do. They have to kind of sit on their tailbone to alleviate pain. Um, how, old, how old is he? It's a she, and I would guess that she's probably in her late 40s, early 50s. Oh, that's way too young. Uh, that's... And she started. it started off really as, as an intestinal problem. And they kind of got that worked out with, uh, you know, with probiotics and with... Uh, what do you mean by you know, intestinal whatever. problem? What do you mean by intestinal well, problem? Well, she had sores. on the, they, they went up inside of her um, her colon and they found she, little sores and pus okay. and things like that. So, you know, so then they got her on uh, fermented foods and different... She went to a holistic doctor. And it improved, and, her, improved her digestive digestive symptoms? And, yes, it did. But the levator, the, the pain and the discomfort and the muscle spasm, down in her, and, and her pelvis haven't gone away. Okay, so here's here's what I'd be looking at. It sounds like malabsorption, uh, spasms and contractions. Usually uh, can involve deficiencies in electrolytes and B vitamins. Your electrolytes and your B vitamins. Electrolytes meaning potassium, cal mostly potassium, calcium, sodium. And, uh, and uh, magnesium. Those are involved in how muscles fire. And when muscles are, are, are cramping up or spasming, it has a lot to do, it can have a lot to do with the deficiencies in these electrical substances that are involved in firing. Uh, uh, after you have intestinal issues, even if you take care of your intestinal issues, you can still have scarring and this can, or adhesions, and this can kind of impair how much of those, how, how effectively electrolytes get into the blood. Likewise with the B complex. Beyond tangy tangerine is liquid. It's a rat, a way to rapidly increase the absorption of electrolytes and B vitamins, and that'd be the first thing that I would be doing. The second thing is essential fats. Fats are also involved in how nerve cells and muscle cells do their business. Uh, your ultimate EFAs are probably a good idea. Uh, and then also using her ultimate enzymes with her meals and with her supplements. Supplement with her meals and use ultimate enzymes when she's taking her supplements and she's eating her food. That'd be kind of how I would be looking at underwear guide. There's a few more things too, um, but we're just out of time. If you want, send me an email, Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number in there and I'll help you out personally. Underwear guy, I gotta motivate. Thank you so much for your call and thank you so much to all of you for listening, for calling, for writing. I appreciate all you guys. We'll be back at you on Monday with more good health information on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.